On today's episode of Chicago Bears Now, Caleb Williams already showing his leadership. Plus, Kay Adams, the Up and Adams show, went to Hallis Hall today and spoke to three key Bears members. We'll react to that as well. But before we get there, help me out. Almost at 7,000 followers on Instagram. I'm posting Bears content over there every single day. I would appreciate the support. It's at HGramNFL. Give me a follow and uh, help me reach 7,000. That would be dope. And with that being said, let's jump on into today's show. I'm Harrison Graham. We'll get to Kay Adams here in just a little bit, but let's talk about Caleb Williams first. Cole Komet hopping on 670 the score yesterday and saying that Caleb Williams has already organized throwing sessions and workouts with several team players. And I think it really just further emphasizes that this guy isn't messing around. I mean, he he's coming in there. He had his, you know, his his night of fun, couple of days of being the number one pick, but he is laser focused on hitting the ground running and wanting to be uh, a very good player right away and wanting to lead this team to success. I mean, his preparation over the last several months, obviously with the pre-draft training, which uh, included, by the way, once the Bears had basically decided they were going to draft him, getting some concepts from Shane Waldron and working on some of those throws and drops and different things with his private QB coach. He uh, threw with uh, DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, and Rome Badunze before he was drafted. Ends up being Rome's teammate as well. He's starting to organize new workouts. And I think the last one here is really important and really fun to see as well is just how much he's embracing Chicago. Uh, we saw him at uh, a Cubs game over the weekend. He's hanging out with Cole Komet, DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, Nate Davis was there. Uh, a couple other players, Roshan Johnson, he's throwing up the bear claw. Shout out to Caleb Williams, got the standing O. That was exciting as well. Um, you know, it's we've come a long way from uh, what uh, the narratives were around this guy before he got drafted by the Bears. But uh, it's really fun to see what he's doing leading this team already as a player, but <clears throat> just interacting with his teammates and uh, within the city as well. Now you look at the offseason schedule ahead outside of these you know, workouts he's organizing. It's things actually on the Bears calendar. you got rookie minicamp coming up this weekend, 10th and 11th. Uh, three OTA sessions, six or seven practices total uh, between May 20th and the 31st. So uh, it's kind of spring all sprinkled in there. Mandatory minicamp June 4th through 6th. And then training camp will be sometime in July. It should be a week earlier than normal in terms of start date because the Bears do have the extra preseason game with the Hall of Fame game. So uh, they'll get going a little earlier than other teams. But uh, it's here, man. It's happening. And uh, before we know it, camp will be here and uh, we'll be watching the Bears play football again. And if you're fired up for Bears football this year, type me down in the comment section below. I don't see how you couldn't be fired up for some Bears football. It's going to be a fun few months leading up to the season, and then uh, who knows, maybe it's a magical season for the Chicago Bears. Okay, let's get to Kay Adams now. Up and Adams show going to Chicago today. Uh, she sat down with Matt Eberflus, DJ Moore, and Cole Komet, uh, obviously the head coach and two of the offensive leaders. And uh, I got five things, five takeaways from uh, these interviews that I thought – Stood out to me, DJ Moore, <clears throat> excuse me, doubling down. Uh, I'll explain that in just a second. But uh, something he said recently, he said again, she asked him, what sets Caleb apart? He said his anticipation. He had the ball right on the money before we turned around, talking about when he and uh, Keenan and Rome were working out with Caleb. And that's a big change. That's a notable change. And Again, uh, you know, I, I know DJ Moore advocated strongly for Justin Fields. He had a very productive season with Justin Fields, and I understand why he did that, but I think he's pretty quickly turned the page here because he's seen this kid play, he's worked out with him now, and that's just something that wasn't available really much last year. Occasionally, Justin would throw with anticipation, but not very often. He's kind of a see-it-throw-it guy Caleb Williams will throw to a spot with confidence and uh, expect the receiver to be there. So obviously, look, it's going to you know, take time. Got to see it in 11-on-11s against real defenses and stuff like that. They're just doing it on air right now. But um, that is going to be a big change. You are going to see the passing game have more opportunities because the windows in the NFL are tight. You got to throw people open sometimes. And uh, Caleb Williams' film shows he can do just that. 
Shout out to Mando for sponsoring today's show. Baseball season is here. Nobody likes a foul ball, just like nobody likes a smelly dude. That's where Mando comes into play. Step up to the plate and take your personal hygiene more seriously with the Mando whole body deodorant developed by a doctor. This game-changing formula is safe for your entire body and knocks out odor like a champ. Mando is made with mandelic acid, which picks off odor at the source, keeping you fresh for up to 72 hours. Mando is available in solid sticks, invisible cream, body wash, cleaning bars, and deodorant wipes for on-the-go use. Don't let foul balls ruin your game. Switch to Mando and keep your body odor in fair territory. I got some of the invisible cream right here. It is fantastic. It is part of the Mando starter pack, which you can get $5 off by using code CHAT at shopmando.com. Don't be that guy in the gym or on the road trip that you just don't want to work out or sit next to because... They just don't smell good. We all have that buddy in our friend group that's person. Get them hooked up with Mando. Code chat at shopmando.com. That's going to get you $5 off. Hell of a deal. Go check out Mando today. Link in the comments and description, as is that promo code. Okay. Uh, the race to 1,000 yards. That quote coming from DJ Moore as well. Uh, Kay Adams said, hey, how's it going to work when you got more weapons? Keenan Allen, Rome, Cole, all these pieces. And uh, DJ said, we all eat. I feel like it's going to be a race to 1,000 yards between the receivers in the room. So it should be amazing. And yeah, I mean, it looks a whole lot different, right? At least at the top. I mean, DJ's still there. You got Keenan Allen now, Roma Dunze, who you know, could come in as a rookie on some teams and be their number one. Here, he's only asked to be their number three, at least at first. But, you know, he's going to come in wanting to prove, you know, these two vets that he can be a big part of the offense as well. The depth of this position, you know, we'll see who emerges. Hopefully, Tyler Scott takes another step. Uh, but this trio, you, you can't dispute how much talent there is. And, yeah, Caleb Williams is going to have to spread the ball around, but he's going to be able to spread the ball around because if you double one guy, Keenan Allen one-on-one -on -one with a – uh, a safety, yeah, good luck uh, pulling that off if you're an opposing defense. Who's going to have the most yards in 2024? Type DJ for DJ Moore, KA for Keenan Allen, RO for Rome Adunze. Let's get to Cole Komet now. He could, quote, see the vision. K. Adams asking him, hey, why'd you resign so quickly in Chicago? Why'd you sign that extension after, you know, a rough couple of years to start your career from a team standpoint, winning and losing? Here's what Cole had to say. After being with Ryan the past couple of years and seeing where this thing is headed and the way Coach Matt Eerfuss has operated, you could see the vision of where it's going. I'm in here every day, and I'm excited for what's to come. And, you know, it really got me thinking. When you think about Ryan Pohl's roster transformation, from tearing the team down in 2022, Khalil Matt, great player. We're trading you for a second-round pick, turning that into Jaquan Brisker. Uh, Robert Quinn at the deadline, Roquan Smith can't work out contract terms. We're going to ship you guys out. Uh, you know, this roster was down to the studs. Slowly start to build back up. You uh, trade for DJ Moore. You sign guys like Tremaine Edmonds, TJ Edwards. Uh, you bring in uh, Nate Davis. You draft Darnell Wright. Uh, and then you get to this offseason with trading for Keenan Allen, Ryan Bates, uh, DeAndre Swift. You ultimately end up getting the number one pick to draft Caleb Williams, which is a direct result of that DJ Moore trade. And then you can use your own draft pick on Roma Dunze. I mean, if you could put side-by-side -side the 2024 or 2022 roster right here, 2024 roster right here, it is night and day, not even close, completely different teams that quickly. Yeah, Ryan Poles has turned this thing around. He had a vision, and uh, you're seeing it come to fruition. They got to win. But uh, on paper, uh, the improvements have absolutely been there. Cole Komet also talked about Caleb Williams' first impressions. What's he like? What have you taken away from hanging out with him a couple of times? Uh, he had to say uh, this. He's just super normal. Everything he's made out to be on ESPN or whatever channel you're listening to uh, is not true, is basically what he went on to say. Uh, later said, he's just a super normal dude, super relaxed. And this also got me thinking – just, I've thought about this a lot recently, but uh, again today, listening to Cole Komet, the Caleb stuff that was out there, it really is amazing when you think about it. Like, not only has pretty much everything that people have like said about this guy not been true, the opposite has turned out to be true in a lot of cases. For months, he's going to pull an Eli. He's going to refuse to play for Chicago. Well, not only did he not do that, he's embraced Chicago. He had a shirt on his suit that was like a Chicago brand. It said Chicago on the back of it. Like, 
it, it, it's just kind of funny to see how it's all uh, played out. Uh, you know, oh, he's selfish. He's this. His teammates from college come out. Great teammate, selfless, puts his teammates first. Like, it, it's just amazing the stories, the theories people cook up about some of these prospects. And not only does most of it end up being bullshit, uh, the opposite ends up being true. So I'm fired up to have this guy here, and uh, clearly the Bears are too. Join the family here at Chicago Bears now. We got free and daily videos here on the channel. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. That way you never miss an episode. Share that link below with a friend. It's youtube.com slash bears now. And then Matt Eberflus talking about Caleb Williams as well. Kay Adams asking, hey, you know, what's he like on and off the field? Here's what Matt said. He's all about football. It's exciting to get through this process in terms of, you know, landing him. But now there's no shortcuts, and we're excited about getting that started in terms of the on-field work. When he's with the guys, he's really funny. He has a good way about him. He's at ease in his own skin, something Ryan Poles has said as well. I think he's going to be really good in the locker room. And look, we only know what we've seen and what we've heard, but if you listen to guys like Cole Komet who have been around this team, DJ Moore who have talked about them, I trust their, what they're saying and the coaches and, and Ryan Poles in terms of how he's interacting. He's not on his phone for hours long dinners like this, you know, this guy's 22. That's a, that's uh that's that's pretty unique, right? Uh, he seems to fit in. I mean, you see him at the Cubs game, it's natural. It's not it's not cringy. He's just kind of fitting right in and uh it's exciting. It's exciting and uh, you want a guy that's your leader to also be someone you can hang out with. And um that was definitely something that was true with Justin. We that part was never a question. The leadership, the intangibles, being one of the guys, uh, it was just it never quite clicked enough on the field. You're hoping this that part of it comes with Caleb Williams, uh, and then you've got the other stuff as well, which is very, very important. All right, guys, there you have it. Some reactions to uh, Kay Adams interviewing some Bears folks. Uh, good job by her. Go check it out uh, on her YouTube channel, Up and Adams Show where you can find that. Uh, I am Harrison Graham. If you want more content from me, it's at HGramNFL. We'll see you guys soon. Bear down.